Hey you guys, thanks for coming to check out another crochet tutorial. Today's tutorial is from Toyo Trust. This is their Ocean Wave in 12 inches in a color number four. Um, this is an eight pack and it comes as one set of an eight pack. So my braid pattern has um, three braids on either side of a middle part and then one braid going up and to the back. Then you're going to cross the two braids and braid them into one braid going into the back. You want to cross them over each other so you don't have a big like gapping part when you're installing your crochets. Then you do big braids going down the back and I just left the nape of my neck out. Normally I would do a braid going directly across but I forgot to do that this time so I just left the nape out. Then you're going to start just installing the crochet pieces as one full piece. I didn't pull them apart. I just installed them as one full piece. And in the back, I put four bundles of the um, four packs or bundles of the multi-pack in the back. So I just kept the pieces full and just, um, you know, knotted them off two times and put four packs in the back. So this hair is really, really pretty. Um, it is a little dark for a number four. I would expect a number four to be a little lighter, um, but this is what it was looking like. And this is about two days later, you guys. It took me a long time to install this hair, but as you can see, I was just wearing my headband um, while I took my time installing this hair. As you can see, the hair still looks really, really pretty too. Um, I wasn't sure how long I'd be able to wear this style, but this hair does last, um, you know, a nice long time. It still looks really pretty and really fresh. If you guys do want to grab this hair, I will leave a link down below to where you can grab this hair off of Toyo Tress website. Um, also, uh, I was really happy with the length of this hair. If you're looking for a short summer style um, that comes pretty much ready to go out of the pack, I would definitely suggest this style. Um, so in the front, I did use the invisible crochet method. I pulled the hair apart three times. So each little piece of hair I pulled three times apart. Then I installed it and I did three knots in between the hair so I will pull one side of the hair through the um, braid so I'll pull one side through and then I pull it back through two or three times to knot it off so I did that with all of the area in the front to give that invisible crochet look and the three cornrows in the front give you options for free parting so you can do a middle part a side part or a deep side part with these three braids at the top so this is what it's looking like and I just had um two more braids to finish up but as you can see it's pretty seamless and it's pretty effortless now this is not going to be the most seamless um, install that you could ever do but this one is definitely fast and it's secure so if you want a fast and secure kind of lazy way to do your crochet you can definitely install it this way and it will be secure now I do have another video if you want an absolutely no slip way um, to install your crochet and I'll link that one down below but this one isn't gonna slip out either it's just not as slip proof as the other way So I know I have been promising you guys a hair cutting tutorial for the crochets. Um, this I'm not going to speed up and I try not to cut out too much of the hair cutting so you can kind of see what I do. If you guys have questions, leave them down below. Um, but I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory. If you want a more detailed um, tutorial on how I cut my crochet, that still is coming you guys. Just bear with me. Um, I haven't uploaded a video to YouTube in over a month. I've really been struggling with my voice, you guys. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with my voice box. I've been losing my voice on and off for like the past year or so, and I'm just tired of it. So I am going to go and figure out what's going on with my voice box, and hopefully there'll be more videos coming soon once I get this together. So um, yeah, more content is coming, you guys. 
just rock with me. Um, I appreciate everybody that subscribed and been holding it down all this time. You guys are the absolute best. So I know I have it kind of like split in my audience. Some of you guys love baby hairs. Some of you guys don't. So I always try to give you both options of what the hair looks like with baby hairs and without. So I just brushed my hair up and blended it using just a bristle brush and wanted to show you guys how it looks that way. And then for everybody that loves baby hairs, gel down. Um, I do have that coming at the end of the video as well. So again, you guys, this is my favorite braid pattern because it gives you so much versatility and just the slightest bit of leave out for blending. I absolutely love this braid pattern. I use it with all my hair out, with all my um, crochet tutorials where you're just crocheting in hair. I use a different um, pattern when I'm doing box braids and like locks and crochet like locks but for hair that is left out like real hair um i love this and uh yeah you guys so if you're interested in this edge control this is glee may edge control it's my own brand i sell it on my site you can definitely check it out at gleemay.com i also sell the baby hair brushes as well as the baby hair scarf to lay down your edges it's like the perfect way to lay your edges so that they will last all day now if you want them to last even longer a secret that i always do is just spray hairspray over top of my edge control and my baby hairs. I find that the edge control really allows me to position the baby hairs where I want and then the hairspray really gives me that hold. Then I put my ed my um, baby hair scarf on top and my baby's hair, baby hairs literally last all day. So for all those that love baby hairs, this is a non-sped up version of how I do my baby hairs. So you can really see how I do them and make my um, leave out blend into my um, crochet hair. And it literally looks so seamless, you guys. Um, so if you want to do this, then definitely check out this part of the tutorial. So this is the end of the tutorial, you guys. I absolutely love how this hair came out. Now, mind you, this is several days later. Um, I did this tutorial and then I came back and showed you guys the end result. This hair was in my head for almost two weeks, you guys, and I never wear hair that long. But this hair is really, really beautiful. Um, I would definitely suggest it. I've never... Um, 
used this ocean wave hair from Toyo Trust before, but I absolutely love it. It's really, really pretty, and I would suggest it. So definitely check down below in the description box if you want to check out this hair on Toyo Trust website. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and I'm definitely going to have more content coming out for you guys in the very near future. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything. All right, you guys, make sure you share this video. Share it with a friend. Share it with a crochet lover. Share this video with your mama.